Hi, I'm George. I'll be showing you how to make your own custom Minecraft title screen. I want to do a fast shout out here to Gooktu for showing me this trick. Thanks. You see this is actually on the title screen. There's a rollover. It's not just you know stuck up there. It also changes, it kind of stretches to fit your image size. If I stretch this in, notice how the background picture stretches to fill. So whatever size picture you use is just fine. Now I did the title up here with the moss covered Minecraft in a different video. I'll put a link for that in the description. But we'll change this background back here and you can use any background that you want on your title. Now to do this you'll need a few things. The first thing of course you'll need is your picture for the background right there. Now I made a picture at the same size as my desktop. I think it's a 16 by 9 ratio. But you can use anything you want for the picture. I just showed you how you can stretch it and will then automatically fill the size of your screen whatever that screen happens to be. Let me bring up a folder and I'll show you the actual image. There we go. And right here, the one named panorama overlay.png. That's the actual image I used right there. So that's my background image. I made this over in Photoshop Elements. You can make it in anything you want, it doesn't matter. And then, as long as it's saved to the right name, you're okay. It has to be a PNG file, and it has to be panorama underscore overlay. And you can see I shrunk mine down to 1280 by 720, my standard size. But again, the size doesn't seem to matter that much, but it should be kind of that ratio right there. This worked out well for me. If you have a much larger screen, you may want to use a larger image so you can keep the detail in there. Mine's going just a little bit soft in here. I could have gone a little bit larger on that size on that image. It would have been maybe a little bit sharper, but I think it looks pretty good. Okay, so first thing you need is an image like that. The next thing you need is a place to build your resource pack. I made a new folder here. I just called it title and I put it on my C drive. I'm doing everything inside of here. After that, we need to have a couple of files here, the pack MC meta and a pack PNG. Now the pack PNG, this is just the image that shows in the list of resource packs in the game when you choose your resource pack. There's a default one that you can just go ahead and use. That one is just that grass block thing, or you can use your own. This is the one that I've made over here. And this one is at 256 by 256. Again, it's a PNG file. That's all it is. Any picture you want, basically square, pretty small, and there you go. Now the pack MC Meta, we need to get this out of a file. Now Minecraft 117 doesn't have this included, so we have to go back to an earlier version for that. I got mine out of 116.5. Let me bring that up and I'll show you how you can do that. So bring up your Minecraft launcher right here. Go into Installations, there it is, click on that. Where it says Latest Release, go over here and click on that folder icon right there. And that brings up the Minecraft folder on your computer. Now in here, come all the way down where it says versions right there. Go into versions, and these are all the versions that you have on your computer. I have 117 in here and 116.5. I have a lot of older ones, but I just got this new computer, so this is all I've installed so far on this computer. But we'll use the 116.5. Now what you want to do is you want to go into that folder, and then you want to copy out that jar file. If you're not seeing the .jar on that, go up here to view, and go over here and put a check next to Fondam extensions. You'll then see that .jar. Okay, here's our working folder right here. Here's that versions folder right there. Just take the jar file and right drag it over here and choose copy. Don't move it, leave it where it is. Just do a copy over to this folder here. So you have two copies now, one is in the game and one's over there. Okay, we can close this down for right now. Now we need to open this thing up. And the way you do that, it's real easy. Again, make sure you're seeing that .jar on there. You should be seeing it already. Just back over the .jar and change that to zip. So it now says, you know, whatever you're using and .zip. Click outside and then choose yes right there. Okay, it's now just a regular old zip file. Now right click on this and choose open in new window. And there we are. Okay, you get this big long list in here of files. They all say A, whatever in front of them. Scroll way down near the bottom. And you want to be looking for that pack MC meta. And it's right in, there it is. There's the pack MC meta. And here's the default pack PNG. That's just that grass block look. But you want this file here, pack MC meta. I'm just going to right drag it over here. Choose copy. It's going to overwrite that one I have there. That's fine. I'll replace that in my destination. There it is. So you want to get this out of here. If you don't want to make your own pack PNG, you can go ahead and use this one as well. I'll just do that. I'll just right track it over here and copy and replace the one I have in there. And that's all it is. It's just that image like that, and that's fine. Okay, we can now close this folder down. We're done with that zip folder. Okay, now in the pack MC meta, we need to change this. Now I have mine opening up in a program called Notepad. I recommend using that. It's a free download. I'll put a link for that in the description. Let me just open this up and then 
Let's change the description up here. I'm just going to call this one still title. Like that. And we're in 117 right now, so change the pack format to a 7, which is the correct current version for 117. Save that, and we're done with that. Now on the pack PNG, again, you can keep it like this if you want to, or you can use any other picture you want. This is at 128 by 120. You can see it right there. You can go 256 by 256. That's fine. This needs to be square and needs to be a PNG file, and that's all it is. Okay, so that's all set. Now we need to set up this folder structure. I'll just delete this one. There we are. Let me show you how to get that folder set up. Let's go back here and I'm going to reopen this one here. Open a new window. There we are. And go into Assets, Minecraft. I'm going to show you where that file is. Textures, come down to GUI right here. Go into Title, go into Background, and there's that overlay file, Panorama Overlay. And this is the original one. It's just clear, actually. What I care about here is this line right at the top, right there. We need to make folders that match this. So let's just put this like this. We'll start off by making a new folder. There you go, call it Assets. And go inside of that one, make a new folder, call it Minecraft. There it is, go inside of that. New folder, this one is Textures. There we go. Inside of that, new folder, GUI, there it is. Inside of that, new folder title. There we go. Inside of this, new folder background. There we go. And inside of here is where that file goes, that image file. So go back to our title folder. There it is. Here's the file. Again, anything you want. I'm just going to make a copy of this. Right click and I'll choose copy, which is way down there. There we go. And I'll now go way inside here, all the way in. And then right click and paste right there. And that paste that in. Make sure it's named panorama underscore overlay dot png. Okay, back to our main working folder. So we're all set to go now to make this into a resource pack. I'm going to delete this one. This is the one I have in the game right now. I'll just delete that. Let's just make this easier to see. I'll choose here large icons. Okay, assets, hold the control key down, get that pack MC meta and that pack png. You want those three things. Then go up here to share, click on zip, and then give it a name. Call it still title, and that's fine. Okay, this is our resource pack right there. That's all done. It's that fast and easy. Let's now get this into the game. Let's first go up here. I'm just going to close this thing down. I'm done with that zip file. And I'm going to go over here, and let's just first put this back to the original. So options, resource packs. I'll uninstall the one I'm using right there. Choose done, and then done again. I have another video on how to do your own panoramas. I'll put a link for that in the description as well. So that's all back to normal again. Let's close that down. Now, latest release, go back to that folder right here, open that up. Go over here where it says resource packs right here, open this one up. Now here's the one I just showed you, I'm going to delete that, that's out of there. And now let's go to our working folder right here. I'll just take this and just drag and drop right over here inside of the game's resource packs folder. There it is, okay, it's in the game now. Close that down, let's go back here to the launcher, go back here where it says play, click on play. We're going to launch this, we're going to see the regular panorama first. And we'll then change or install that resource pack. Once that's activated, we'll then see that still image. There we go. Choose options, resource packs. And here it is, left hand side. I'll click over here. It's now the right hand side. Choose done. This will then reload and give us our new still image background. Choose done. And there it is. Let's make that full screen. And there we go. There's our custom background. It's that easy to do. Okay, make sure you check out my channel for more Minecraft videos. Hit that like button, hit share, subscribe so you won't miss out on any new videos in the future, and I'll see you next time.